In this Lords of the Fallen video, I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get 10 plus secret items early on in the game from armor sets to weapons, rings and pendants. These are all obtainable between the first two bosses of Pieta and Scourge Sister Delif. So real early game guys, but you can even come back to these if you progress past this point, so do not worry about that. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So yes, loads of early game secret items for you to collect right here. So let's go. So as soon as you beat the first boss of Pieta, you come to your very next vestige of Ifrug. This is where we're going to start. This is going to be the vocal point of where we will obtain a lot of loot for today's video. And we will start with the Descria Guide Armor. So taking this path to this armor set, we'll actually unlock other paths to get a few easy to grab items later on too. And going to get this armor set, you grab a key called the Skyrest Bridge Key. This again unlocks further paths back to the main room, which we will use as a vocal point to a lot of this loot we will obtain today. Now, as I make my way to this armor set, I am just running past the enemies. You may have to take your time and take a few of these out as I do, but the majority of these, you can just run past. So as I'm making this video, expecting many people watching this to be early players, it's why the vocal point in this video is the vestige of Ifrag, but you will run past a couple of vestiges which we will activate as we do, like this one on screen. Now guys, we're going to come back to this later because we will use this as a vocal point later on in the video. And this is the vestige of Che Bu, I believe that's pronounced. So follow the path I take on screen now guys, and we're going to go and grab that armor set. So this is the door we need the Skyrest bridge key for. This is the door that beholds that armor. So when you come to this point, guys, you'll obviously have to go into that Umbral Realm, but you have to be real careful here because when you grab this key, there's a Reaper-like creature who comes and almost one shots you. So as soon as you grab this key, guys, you need to race across this bomb bridge and deactivate the Umbral mod to keep yourself safe. So do what you got to do.
So once you've done this guys, come up to this gate, use this key and go grab that chest to get this armor set. So from this point guys, we're going to go and grab the Crimson Reactor Sword and the Crimson Reactor Shield. Now we do have to go back across that bone bridge, so just be careful when doing so. Remember you need to be in the Umbral Realm to do this. Once you've grabbed that reactor shield guys, you can use this key on this gate now to get yourself back into the main hall, the main room, our vocal point room, quite easily. But we actually need to go back to clear paths for further loot that we're going to obtain. So back towards that bone bridge. So from where we got Destria Guide armor set, we're going to take the spiral stairs up towards another balcony area which we're going to come back to but firstly guys we're going to open up and clear a pathway we're going to open up a door which leads us straight back to that vestige vocal point Okay, so with the door clear, with that path clear, we're going to head back to that room we just came from. From the vestige point, I'm going to go and grab the Searing Acquisition. Now, there is a slight puzzle here, but if you watch what I do, you can't get it wrong. So I'll go grab this thing, guys.
Okay, so from this point, guys, we're going to jump down and grab the princess's sting pendant. This one you don't want to miss. Okay, so from here, guys, you want to go back to that vocal point room, that first vestige. There's an NPC right here, guys. He sells a key, but it does cost 9,500 Vyga. It's important that if you have that Vyga, you buy that key right now. If you haven't got the Vyga, don't worry about it right now because you need to progress past the second boss. The second boss is Scourge Sister Delif. Uh, you may have already beat her already, but if you haven't, I'd worry about getting her out of the way first. So first things first, we're going to go back to the second vocal point of the video, which is the vestige of Che Bu, I believe that is. So you want to warp here, guys, and go and fight that second boss, as you'll see me do on screen now. Now upon you defeating her you get the Scourge Sister Flail and the Scourge Sacred Helm, both pretty unique and awesome looking items, so do what you gotta do to get those guys. Now once you have beaten her, the path ahead now is clear every time you come through this point. Now what I will say is, you wanna farm and get yourself 9500 Vyga, because you wanna purchase that key to get that second armor set of the video. The armor set is called the Sacred Resonance Armor and it's pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. So once this boss has been cleared out and you farmed that 9500 Vyga, you want to head back to that first vocal point of the video, the Vestige of Ifrog. You want to come to this NPC, this vendor, and you want to purchase this key. Now I already purchased it but it will cost you 9500. Now once you have this key guys, you then want to walk back to the second vocal point of the video, the Vestige of Che Bu. From here guys, follow the path I take, we're going to run past that second boss room again, keep going a little further up and we're going to progress around the bend and there's going to be a gate you can unlock on that bend which will reward you this uh, armor set from that chest. So go get this thing people. Okay, so we're going to go on now, guys, and get the Holy Blood Ring as well as the Hallowed Praise 
weapon. So we're going to come out of this room where we just got the armor set from. We're going to slightly turn to our left. Plant that vestige seedling if you haven't already. Activate the anchor between realms. Then go on to grab these items. Now what I will say is there will be enemies within your way. I do try my best to run past the ones you can. But some you will have to take out. We'll go get this thing people. Now I've paused the video here because I've already picked up this weapon. It's located right here by this fire on my left hand side. You'll see an arrow pointing right to it guys. You can pick up this weapon right here, the hollow praise, and then let's progress on to grab the ring. But yeah, as I said, I've already picked this up, so it ain't here for me. Now the ring will be located here but because I've already picked it up it's not here for me but do what you got to do guys and get this thing. And lastly guys from this point we're going to go on and grab the Perdon Falchion weapon. So come grab this thing guys, it's quite simple, there will be a few enemies in your way, you can quickly jump past them, jump down onto this ledge but be very careful and grab this weapon. But there we have it guys, some early game secret items from Lords of the Fallen. If you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe. I mean, if you're a fan of compilation videos of early, well, not even early game, as I progress on, I'll compilate together uh, secrets that I find, weapons, armors, uh, pendants, rings, jewelry, you name it, guys. So look forward to them. Again, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.